Hello and welcome back to my reading nook. Today I was inspired to do a video because it's sunny outside and I haven't done one in a while. I've actually filmed a few um, along the way between the last couple of episodes or uploads but they ended up not really working out for one reason or another so I've decided to scrap them. Uh, today's video is my traveling essentials and I have a huge bag. <laughs> If anybody knows me, they know that I carry around huge bags, and they're usually red! Here is my bag. It's the same one I think that Arden Rose has, or it's the similar line. Um, I saw her having it, I was like, I need that. <laughs> because roses are also kind of my thing, more, you know, red is mostly my thing, but I also love roses a lot. And this bag is big and it holds all my things, <laughs> because Despite myself thinking I don't use a lot of products, when I went to collect everything that I normally throw in this when I go traveling, it was like, actually, uh, I use quite a few. <laughs> First thing, I usually have a face rag. I buy them specifically for my face. And uh, this one's from Ikea. I just got it. It's nice and colorful, like a rainbow. To take off my makeup, you should know these by now. Crinkly packaging, simple, sensitive, clean cleansing skin wipes. Uh, 25 wipes, and I usually carry a bag in, or a pack in my purse as well because they're just great. So my Olay 7-in-1 fragrance-free moisturizer with sunscreen. And a travel version of the Sensitive Skin Moisturizing Facial Wash. Um, you can get these like in a combo pack that Simple has some places. Just so I don't, you know, this bag is heavy enough. I don't want to carry the whole thing over everywhere. <laughs> And then for nighttime, Simple's Replenishing Rich Moisturizer. This is also a trial, and I have a bigger size for, you know, where I live. Oh, soap! I don't know that I've mentioned this yet, but my body soap is the Dove Sensitive Skin Soap. Uh, it's really nice, moisturizing, fragrance-free. I've been using it at, since I found out I had eczema. I've never needed to change, so thumbs up to this. After a shower, it's Vaseline Intensive Care Fragrance-Free Advanced Repair lotion keeps my eczema from flaring up and keeps me really moisturized plus nice fitting travel size um for my hands i carry this lotion this is eucerin intensive repair i am a eucerin profit that's not the right word believer also not right no i love eucerin a lot let's suffice it with that uh, i put this on every night before i go to sleep and keeps my hands lotionized all day long Deodorant is Dove Advanced Care Sensitive Skin. It's kind of new still. And amazingly, I have to, whenever I buy it, I buy two if the store has it because it is always out. Like, they always have tons of scented ones, but the sensitive is, like, hard to find. So, it's very nice. I like it. Shaving cream. I have a sample from Target of EOS's Raspberry Pomegranate. Or Pomegranate Raspberry. It smells really good. Uh, simple Revitalizing Eye Roll-On. It's got a really nice relaxing balmer. It's great before I go to bed, in the morning when I wake up, if my eyes are puffy. Just good. I keep a lot of random hair things, like, you know, just in case I'm having a terrible hair day and I don't know what to do, I keep, like, a thing to put over a ponytail and giant red clips to clip things in place if they're not cooperating. And, of course, um, you know, normal things. <laughs> Ah, I keep some band-aids in here because with eczema, I get hangnails pretty frequently. So I usually keep some band-aids and some neosporin in there just in case um, because it's the worst to not be able to cover that up when you need to. <laughs> I also have eye drops. These are Walgreens with me just in case. Clinique makeup, I usually take the barest essentials plus my physician's formula, organic wear. This is my favorite mascara probably. Other than benefits, they're real. This is my favorite. Um, so I take a Clinique chubby eye stick with me and throw it around. <laughs> this, I've used it so much the label has worn off, but I believe this is Lata Latte. It's a really nice brown, shiny thing. And then I have the Clinique Eye Defining Liquid Liner in black. I think it only comes in black and brown. I don't remember. If it came in more colors, I would buy it. Psst, make more Clinique. And then I, I take a small Clinique um, quad with me. It's got some pink and brown and blue. So basically any eye look I want to do, I can. Plus a teeny mirror. 
my Clinique CC cream in light. Um, a lady at the counter gave me a sample and she's like, oh, it'll last you like five days. But since I don't wear, you know, a full facial coverage, this has lasted me quite a while. And I've really only used like, I still have that much left. So if this ever does run out, I will buy the full thing because it's really good. Toothpaste and my toothbrush is still in my bathroom, but of course I take a toothbrush. I use uh, Crest's 3D White Radiant Mint. They also have Arctic Fresh Mint. I use I bought that one time. It like I would have minty fresh breath like all day. It was too minty for me. Like uh, this is a little toned down, at least flavor wise, and it still gives me whiter teeth uh, because I'm a coffee drinker and sometimes an occasional wine drinker and we all know that's not good for teeth but i'm not going to give it up so this <laughs> um i have a couple lip products i try to keep it simple actually i have three lip products so i have a few uh when i go places i like to have a variety i have karmix moisture plus in looks like red snakeskin packaging um in fact uh, this is my staple, wear it all the time, great stuff. And then I have like a a color balm, Baby Lips Orange. I haven't worn this, it's still in here, but I haven't really worn this since I went fragrance-free everything, so I don't know if this would cause me to break out if I wore it. I just still like to smell it. It's the neon orange. Mm. Kind of smells like a creamsicle, so I hope I can still wear it, but I pretty much doubt it. Sugar fresh lip treatment. This is just the regular. Um, it smells like lemon. And this is really nice stuff. And I love how it closes. Like, the packaging. These are $25 for a reason. I got this for my birthday from Sephora. I did not pay for this. <laughs> There's a trend. I get things on the cheap. But I always take tweezers with me. Right now I have Revlon's, like, slanty tweezers, and they're a pretty blue design. Um, I really like Revlon's tools. My eyeliner or eyelash curler is also Revlon. Um, they're just good, solid products. Oh, I also carry bobby pins, you know, because those are very helpful to life. I always keep a nail file with me, and actually I think I, ha I have two in this bag, <laughs> both from Revlon. One is the Crazy Shine and Nail Buffer Combo. And then this one is Shape and Buff thingy. It's got four steps and a hard, really hard um, emery board on the side. I don't use it because my nails are so, so fragile. I instead would use the, the very, very tiny evening out one for that. And in the same pouch as that, I carry a pink comb, you know, for dividing hair and combing hair. And then, a new purchase that I'm really excited about. I got it from Sephora with a gift card for Christmas from my friend Sarah. The biggest comb ever. Well, probably not, but it's just great. I love it. What more can I say about it? I don't know. <laughs> That's been my travel essentials. Thank you for watching, and um, if you have any comments or suggestions for making travel sensitive skin easier, let me know in the comments below. Sensitive skin, right?